Hey guys, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity, and this is Pick It Up, where I review a trade that I enjoy. Today, I'm talking about X-Men, Days of Future Past. Originally published in 1981, it was written by Chris Claremont and John Byrne, with art by John Byrne. So, this is not only one of the greatest X-Men stories, however, it's also one of the greatest stories in Marvel Comics, period. This story features one of the various horrible alternate timelines for the X-Men. This timeline was foreshadowed in the early rebellion of the Sentinels. However, in this universe, all of that came to pass. The Sentinels hunted down and enslaved mutants. They eventually started to see anyone with powers as a problem, and then all people became a problem. There are different ideas and characters that are presented in this story that basically keep coming up and get used over and over and over throughout Marvel Comics continuity. Because the story itself is only two issues, the trade out is filled with some of the lead up issues as well as an annual. Those stories don't necessarily have anything to do with Days of Future Past, but there are some themes that are kind of kept. Say for instance, Kitty Pride always had this weirdness with Nightcrawler, like she just always was kind of thrown off by the way he looked. Where in this story, when she comes back from the past, she immediately hugs Nightcrawler. Basically, it shows that she's matured. She just got over that. One of the stories is basically Cyclops breaking down the X-Men up until the point where we start this story. Meanwhile, the Wendigo feature basically shows the beginning of the great friendship that developed between Wolverine and Nightcrawler. If you like Marvel or the X-Men, I highly recommend this story. It's also worth noting that if this came out today, it will probably be 12 issues. There's a lot packed into this. Anyway, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.